Hey friends, I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. I've got a simple tutorial to walk you through how to get a good, basic audio recording. This is something that you're going to want to be able to do if you are sending an audio track to your podcast editor. So we are in GarageBand. I am using version 10.4.5. And this is the opening screen where we choose a track type, and we're going to go just with a microphone. I have it set to pick up from my external microphone. I am using the Shure MV7, and we're going to go with Create. So the very first thing I do when I get to this screen is turn off this monitoring button because it sounds a little echoey in my ears. I am wearing headphones plugged into the bottom of my USB microphone. And then I come up here and I make sure that I've got the metronome turned off so that it doesn't tick tock through the recording or at the beginning of it. Something else that you might want to do in this section right here is hit this drop down arrow and change this to time so that you'll get a timer instead of musical measures and beats. Now we're going to set up this track so that there is no EQ, no compression, no reverb or anything like that on it, because I want this to be super raw so that the person that's doing my mixing or editing can take care of adding any EQ or compression or any other polish that they want to add to the track. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off this compressor. And then I'm going to go to the master right here, and we can raise this up. We're also going to turn that off. All you have to do is just click that little button, and that turns it on and off. And then you can see right here with the plugins, since none of these are highlighted blue, if we wanted to turn them on, we'd go over here and just click this button. So if you need to turn them off, do the same. Then we go back to the track. And we're going to hit the red button up here for record or just press R. Hey friends, I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. And then we'll play that back to see how it sounds. Hey friends, I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge at the Brassy Broadcasting Company. Okay, now we are ready to export this so we can send it to our editor. So you're going to go up here to share and export song to disk. And we're just going to call this test. And then down here, I'm going to save it to my GarageBand for Mac OS. And I'm going to save this as a wave. I typically save as wave or as AIFF. That's a higher quality audio file than what the MP3 is going to be. And that's what most editors work with. And then you're just going to hit export. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel if you haven't already.